Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video and today I want to talk to you about a token that I've just bought today and that is called Falcon Swap. Now what is Falcon Swap? It is a layer 2 scaling solution built on Uniswap and further extendable to aggregate other DeFi platforms like Muniswap, Kyber Network, Balancer, Airswap, Bancor and etc. Okay, now it's not actually launched yet, um, and I can't give you an exact date for that, but it is available to buy on Uniswap at the moment, okay? Um, one thing I do know from what I've seen in the Telegram group is, is, is that it's expected to go live potentially by the end of September, okay? So not far away, guys. Okay, but like I said, you can actually buy it on Uniswap, okay? The ticket is FSW, okay? And you can get the contract address from CoinGecko or Everscan right over here all right FSW okay and we'll have a look at that in a minute but why am I looking at Falcon Swap okay now obviously we've got a lot of these platforms coming out we've got Moon Swap, Mooney Swap, we've got all these Sushi Swaps and all that sort of stuff all right uh, one thing that separates this is obviously they're trying to do lower gas fees, okay? And they do that by aggregating multiple orders. So potentially, the more people that use their service, the lower the gas fees will be, okay? If, if, if you just took one gas fee and compared it to that of the likes of Uniswap, it might not be that much different, okay? But if you're doing multiple trades and there's multiple orders coming through, um, you're likely to get a lower gas fee, um, and, and don't ask me the technicals, I, I don't know how it all works, but um, it does seem, um, I, I don't understand it fully, but it does seem like it's good, okay, and you can actually go and check that out, and um, they've got low slippage, privacy, and faster transactions, alright, it's non-custodial, uh, non so you can trade, you, trade using your own private keys, of course, co with complete security, okay, and it gives you the experience of a centralized exchange, apparently, with the security of decentralized liquidity platforms. All right. Um, they're also doing a buyback. OK, so they take 10 percent of the trading fees and they will then go on the exchanges and they will buy tokens back and they will burn those tokens. So it's a deflationary token. All right. Which obviously means that the price will increase potentially. OK, they've got staking fees and discounts, liquidity mining, and all that sort of stuff. All right, again, you can see the uh, contract address there. Okay, now, one thing that caught my eye with uh, uh, with, with um, Falcon Swap, okay, is not any of these partners that I can see here, because I don't really know who any of them are, okay, but they are actually partnered with Trust Swap, okay, and if you've been following my channel, you see I did a video on Trust Swap the other day, and it's not the first video that I've done on Trust Swap, okay, so, um, Trust Swap they enable time-based payments, all right, and um, Falcon Swap are going to be integrating that uh, with their network as well. Okay, so um, I don't think that Trust Swap would partner with Falcon Swap if Falcon Swap were a scam. All right, there's a lot of uncertainty with new projects coming out, but I believe that Trust Swap has a good reputation. All right, and they are working with these guys to, you know, bring this service. All right, so that's what I think that. Uh, uh, Falcon Swap is a good one, okay, and something that you should watch out for. All right, if we look at some of the fundamentals and tokenomics or whatever, okay, it's currently sitting at 11.3 million market cap. Okay, the price is currently 34 cents. Now, I'll just refresh that um, because the price may have changed since then. Okay, it's currently down to 32, just under 33 cents. Okay, and the market cap has gone down to 10. 0.8 million okay um i actually got in this um at around 9.8 million okay so i'm actually up around 10 12 percent currently at the moment it was up a little bit higher but it does look like it is dipping at the moment but if we look at the price chart 
you can see that the volume is increasing over here so i am expecting i mean i do like to see that so i'm at, i am expecting this to continue in price especially considering the fact that it hasn't launched yet and there's a bit of a build-up they've got a little bit of a community on telegram and on twitter there's actually about four thousand members in the telegram at the moment even now and it's very early days okay the project is not very old at all you can see that coin gecko has information back from the 29th of august so only at the beginning at uh, the end of last month beginning of this month okay so i do think that there's um you know potential for the price to grow um and potential for that to grow in the build up to the launch which could potentially be in the next few weeks i'm also hearing that there will potentially be an announcement on monday okay now some people are thinking that the price will drop and then on monday the price will increase after the announcement some people think that the price will increase and then on monday once the announcement comes the price will drop okay i'm in the middle because at the end of the day this is a new exchange and we are anticipating a launch for this in the next few weeks okay and the price could continue increasing even up until then all right and like i said we, it's obviously a low cap gem uh, the market cap is 10 yeah just under 11 million all right if we look at the market cap okay now the market cap at its highest peak was around 22 million over here okay uh, but as you can see that came down now it's currently sitting at 11 million all right but i don't think it will take much for this to double i don't think it will take much for it to take out the previous high on the market cap chart and take out that 20 that 20 million all right and if it does obviously it could go a lot higher if it especially if we can take some market share and it's uh, you know the integration with uniswap it basically um enables um it the platform is enabled to handle all the transactions and still somehow connect to uniswap which is built on uniswap of course so yeah that's why i think that this is a good project okay it's also available on hotbit aex bkx and poloniex all right so keep your eyes out for that one guys i mean falcon swap definitely has you know some you know um some some cool features about it um yeah, I mean, you'd have to check it out and let me know in the comments whether you think that it's a good investment, whether it's one that you consider getting into amongst all of these, you know, YFS and YFFS and, you know, YFV and, you know, there's, there's so many projects coming out right now, it's unbelievable. You can see the layout looks quite nice. It, it does look quite, like, like quite, quite a nice website. Obviously, they've got the farming and the staking and all that sort of stuff. And, you know, it, you know, let's not get into that in this video. We've heard enough about that over the past few weeks. Everyone's talking about it. But, um, yeah, it does seem interesting, okay? Powerhouse for DeFi, Falcon Swap. Let me know what you think in the comments, okay? Now, moving on quickly just to Uni, okay? I've been trading Uni all day. It does seem like it's bro broken down out of a falling wedge at the moment. Falling wedge is actually a bullish pattern, okay? Now, my price target potentially it's all the way down at around four dollars three dollars and ninety cents you know obviously not overnight but if it can't maintain support above this level okay and begin to make its way back up and get a breakout okay um yeah i'm looking at about four dollars all right um if it does manage to get get a reversal okay and this is just a fake out all right um, because you know let's face it there's a lot of volume coming through this okay down to 639 million uh, million okay now this was up at a billion just earlier today about 930 billion uh, sorry um 930 million okay just close to a billion that's a lot of volume i believe it's trumping uh, the volume of uh, bitcoin at the moment um i'd have to go and double check but that's what they uh, that's what they're saying in the streets but um yeah right now i'm looking at um if it was to reverse okay uh, which obviously right now does look like it could just continue down but we'll have to see where this candle closes on the one hour and then keep an eye on the four hour i've mostly been trading this on the 15 minute time frame and the half an hour okay because of the you know the fact that there's not much price action and it's not really easy to get a good pattern on a higher time frame with not much going on okay so you can see the patterns in the shorter term and see exactly what's happening and that's been very good very profitable for me very easy to trade this chart okay i, I shouldn't say easy but um yeah it has you know and i've been able to make some good profits okay and um, yeah i'm happy with the way things have been going but at the moment it's time to wait now and see 
what happens okay if we do a measured move all right if it was to break out um go to the upside all right the level that i've got i believe is roughly about ten dollars i believe okay ten dollars and fifty cents roughly all right and if we was to bring the measured move a little bit higher okay from the top of the falling wedge all right it would actually bring it to around twelve dollars okay let's just line that up okay see we're looking at about twelve dollars there okay so that is the potential that i'm seeing for this that's obviously based on a measured move of this falling wedge i was looking at earlier but um you know since then we've seen it kind of like break down out of the wedge a little bit but it is wicking and you know we'll see how that closes if that does close above that there'll probably be a lot of buying volume um coming in you'll probably see a green candle to the upside and that's that's all potentially okay so you'll know whether i was right or wrong after that by the time this video is uploaded because by the time i upload this video probably about half an hour to an hour would have gone by okay so bear that in mind all right guys that's about it for the video um almost okay let's just quickly have a look at spark point okay now spark point um obviously if you look back on the channel we've been talking about this quite a lot okay now it's just a quick update all right there's not much volume coming at the moment it's like watching paint dry at the moment but the good thing is it is holding support okay now we did get this um break out of uh, uh resistance over here okay and that was roughly about 80 percent move but initially i expected this to just continue sideways anyway so obviously there was a little bit of hype over here and that broke out a little bit faster than what i expected it to but my original game plan where i expected it to go sideways for much longer just like it did over here okay it had a little bit of a breakout and carried on going sideways i'm seeing the exact same thing over here except there is a little bit of a difference okay and that's because we had that um, adam and eve reversal and we had it you know break up a little bit where it has come back down to earth and it is going back sideways okay so i would be looking for that to potentially go sideways a little bit longer okay would have to be patient for it uh, with it and then hopefully continue to the upside all right if it does break down below these levels that's when i'll be thinking okay maybe i've made a mistake maybe i need to get out of this okay and you know i'm holding pure profit in this anyway at the moment and that's one of the reasons why i haven't been speaking about spark point over the last couple of days and the last week okay because this is uh, one of my long-term holds at the moment until things change and um you know i do expect that uh, this to continue up and not only that you know i was taking profits up here and i bought back in in the lows down here and i've just been holding um with pure profit okay so um i don't need to be checking this every single day this is one that i'm confident in and they will grow okay they've got spark learn spark earn spark play and most importantly spark DeFi. okay so i i, I believe that this has some serious long-term potential all right they're actually hiring people they're active on their social media telegram twitter all that sort of stuff okay doing all the right things all right and um yeah and, um there needs to be more people looking at spark point okay it's available on uniswap also available on bitmark um i do prefer to you know trade on platforms like this rather than uniswap if it's available okay because you know there's no high gas fees and all that sort of stuff okay i can just i don't need to you know wait you know 10 minutes for a swap to go through if the if the um, network is congested and all that sort of stuff i can just go in i could put a buy order on put a sell order on execute my trade get in get out and all that sort of stuff the only downfall with this is there is no stop limit on bitmark uh but there's also no stop limit on uniswap okay so this is why i'd rather um, have it on bitmart at the moment obviously it's not as safe um, because i don't have the private keys and um, if it was in uniswap it would be in my metamask wallet okay but uh, for the sake of um you know um being able to easily execute a transaction okay i'd much rather hold it on bitmart i've been using it for a while okay did have some issues all right guys which some of you might know but um yeah it's not 
you know, it's, it's, it's nothing. It's all been sorted, by the way. Got all of my withdrawals, okay? Got no issues with my at the moment. All right, guys. So, yeah, that's about it for now. Okay, let's just have another quick look at a unit. Obviously, you can see you've got that reversal coming. Okay, potentially. Okay, three minutes before that closes. All right, if that does close green, then you could see a potential, you know, dragonfly doji and a potential reversal to the upside on that. Could have been a fake out to, down there. All right, but as you can see, those are my targets and that is a breakout target okay so if it does break out i will be putting a position back on uni all right uh, at the moment i'll wait uh yeah i'm gonna miss all of that move i believe that's about 25 percent worth of uh, a worth of a move to the upside let's have a look okay about 20 percent, probably a little bit more if i went from the bottom of the line okay but yeah that's what i'm looking at with that We'll have to wait and see how that plays out, guys. All right, so that's it for now. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.